Right, so we're back on the river here again today, just for a couple of hours. As you can see, we've had a bit of rain. Uh, I was down on Saturday um, and the river was a wee bit lower. I think it's actually higher now than what it was on Saturday. Good height for the fly. Gonna have a go, just fly fishing for a couple of hours for salmon. Probably end up with a blank, that's normally what happens, but uh, you never know, you might get a fish. Um, when I was down on Saturday there was loads of weed in the river so every cast you were catching the weed and um, it was kind of making it hard going but we've had a couple of days now so um, with a bit of luck most of the weed might have washed out the river uh, as you can see the water's a, a great colour just how I like it for salmon fishing uh, sort of peaty colour or a bit like um, a porter or a sort of dark ale so um, I'm going to get tackled up We'll try probably some kind of alley shrimp variant and maybe some kind of fly with a bit of blue on it just in case there's any sea trout. So um, I'll get tackled up and then I'll have a cast. Right, so the flies I'm going to use today, I'm going to use that one, sort of alley shrimp almost, sort of orangey one with a bit of sparkle. It's not quite an alley shrimp because that's got... Um, golden pheasant and also a bit of um, squirrel's tail on it but anyway you get the impression one with a nice flowing tail and a bit of sparkle for the darker water and then halfway up the line I'm trying this one it's a beautifully tied fly by the guy Vince I got my fly some flies off when I bought my salmon fly fishing stuff um, I don't know whether it'll catch a fish, but it certainly looks good. If there's a sea trout, you would think it might take that, or a salmon. So anyway, I think that's a size 8. Maybe it's a size 6. Um, I normally fish a sink tip, or a sink leader, but the water's not up that much today. Um, I do actually have a, a sink tip bit to my line in the bag, but I'm going to try just um, with fishing the just the flies and the leader first of all uh, and just see how we get on I mean the, the fly should get down reasonably far anyway I would think um, so anyway we'll give it a go I'll just have a few casts here and then I'll move up to my favorite spot all right so we didn't have any joy just at the tail of there, at the mill. I mean, only I was there for five minutes. I'm not convinced there's actually that many fish running, to be honest. But we'll see. Just nice to be out. So it certainly looks good. Not sure how far the fly is going to get down in this fast streams. But it's not very deep. Once you move down the pool, it gets a bit deeper, but it's not really deep here. But you never know. Worth a try. Better than sitting in the house anyway.
And if the fish are running up the river, I don't see why you shouldn't have a chance here as good as any other place. And to be honest, they're not convinced there's actually that many fish are running. I think any fish, there was a few fish in the, in the pools when the water was really low. But I would imagine they probably shot off up the river on Saturday when we had the rain. We'll be up the top of the river here now. But again, you never know. If you're not trying to catch them, you won't be catching them. And I thought about again about trout fishing today with dry flies, but not much rising, so might as well be salmon fishing. Water's definitely cleaner today than it was on Saturday when I was down, that's for sure. A lot of the weeds washed away. And there's plenty of movement in the water here, so that will get the fly moving well. Look at the water there, I mean, it's absolutely wonderful. Perfect salmon water. Now we need is a take. Quite often when the river's like this though, you won't see a salmon. It will just, first thing you'll know is uh, you get the take.
Right, so there is still weed here. Don't say that's a great surprise. So there's not much happening, which is quite common when fishing for salmon these days. Um, it's still relaxing to be by the river though, can't complain. Nice to see a fish or something just to keep your interest there. Thing is though, it's a blank until you get a take, so a number of times I've been salmon fishing and you fish and fish and fish and then you think, oh well, that's the end, I've had enough. You think, right, ten more minutes, I'll just have a few more casts. You do, and then you end up getting one. As I said, they're quite rare these days. I mean, the river air is a category three, which means um, all salmon and sea trout have to be returned to the river. There was one year I was in the club uh, where you could keep salmon. I think you could have three that year, I think. Well, I could be wrong, I can't remember. It was about five years ago. I caught two that year. With them being so rare, I don't mind putting them back. It means hopefully that in the future there'll be more. And then, oh, that was a boat. I don't think it was a salmon there. I could be wrong, but it felt more like a wee trout having a nip. I mean, don't get me wrong, the river air is a great river to go fishing on and you've still got a chance of a salmon. I mean, I've, I don't think I've had a year where I fished the river where I haven't had one. Quite often you only get one or two. Apart from 2020, which I don't know what was different about that, apart from lockdown, where uh, I'd lost... I lost six and I caught seven. Every other year I've only had, I've had one or two. So I don't know whether it was to do with fishing boats out at sea uh, not catching them or something, but something definitely was different. There was just so many more fish in the river. And I know you get these natural cycles and stuff, but I just can't help but think it was something to do with uh, the fact that the fishing boats were off 
out at sea or something like that and there just seemed to be that much many that more many fish in the river so we didn't have any joy at that good spot we're going to try the tail of the pool now <coughs> never had a salmon at the tail of the pool but any tail end really you should be able to catch a salmon definitely fresher than it was a couple of weeks ago so I've just seen a massive otter swim by it was really big like the size of a Labrador if not bigger Uh, not saying that's going to really make much difference to the fishing, I don't know. As long as it keeps on going by and doesn't end up hanging around. I don't like cormorants or goosanders or mink because they just shred all the fish. And the mink to see the uh, the baby ducks and things as well, but not too bothered about the or the otter to be honest. This is one good thing about fishing on the river, it's quite sheltered here and I'm sure you can see it's quite windy but it's still fishable with a fly rod with this high winds if you're on a still water like a big lock or a reservoir it'd be really hard going So I fished for about 20 minutes and we've had a few tangles and a bit of weed but no fish. And it looks perfect but there you go. I suppose if they're not running or there's not many of them then you're not going to catch them. 
sure there's the odd one, but maybe not many. Trout rising. That's not what we're after. So there's not much happening, I think I'm going to pack up soon, I mean not been down very long but it's just to have a bit of fresh air really. Hope you've enjoyed today's video, not been very exciting I'm afraid because there's uh, not been any salmon caught, but um, nice to see the water I guess. So if you've uh, if you enjoyed today's video feel free to subscribe to the channel and um, like the video it all helps thanks for watching and see you later